Hello there. In this tutorial, I am going to show how to calculate hypsometric integral and how to plot hypsometric curve using ArcGIS from them. So, hypsometry involves the measurement and analysis of the relationship between altitude and basin area to understand the degree of dissection and stage of cycle operation. So, here we need elevation map, that's been dim. I will use Carto dim for this purpose. So this is my basin dim. This is projected dim. Go to properties. Here you can find in UTM zone, UTM zone 45 north. So we can classify this dim into 32 groups using ArcGIS, using this classified tab here. Because hypsometric curve is generally used to show the proportion of area of the surface at various elevation above or below the datum and thus the values of area are plotted as ratio of the total area of the basin against the corresponding height of the contours. Hence, the area is represented by cumulative percentages. So here, we have to classify it according to the number of class. I will classify it by 32 groups. So classify should be in equal interval and just click it OK and apply and OK. So this is my classified dim. Now go to Arc Toolbox again and reclassify it using special analysis tool, then reclass, then reclassify. So here input raster clip dim. So up to 32 groups, we should change our output raster. Reclass them, projected basin reclass 32. Save it and click it OK. Then again go to properties, unique value, apply and OK. So here are 32 groups. You can also classify by 12 groups or 15 groups. So now, journal statistics as table. Using this journal statistics as table, we can calculate maximum and minimum elevation, also mean elevation. This one reclass them, input raster, and for input raster value, our dem classified dem. So change this value, journal stat thirty two. Save it, and statistics type you should select all, and click it OK. So now this one journal statistics 32 open it. You can find here area, mean value, maximum value, range, mean value. Now go to table option here and select all. Then right click in the space and just copy select it. Okay. Now open Excel. Now press Ctrl V. So here row ID, value, count, area. No need count, so we can delete this one. Area, mean value, range, mean, standard division. We can delete all of this. No need this purpose in this purpose. So here area, area in meter. We should convert this one in area in square kilometer. For this purpose, area in square kimi. So for that purpose. We should use is equal to area in meter divided by 1 million. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Press enter. So here area 619 square kilometer. For this zone 32, 42, 57 like this way. Okay. So now again copy it and paste as a value. So now we can delete this one also because this is area and meter. This one range, range mean maximum minus minimum. So now we have to calculate mean minus minimum value. Mean minus minimum is equal to this value implies mean, mean altitude minus minimum altitude. Press enter. So this is the minimum value and maximum value. Now we have to calculate HI mean hypsometric integral. 
hypsometric integral is the ratio of volume or percentage of total volume of the basin area below the curve. And thus, it reveals the volume of the area and consumed by the dynamic wheel of erosion. So, we can easily calculate hypsometric integral using range and mean max max. We can easily calculate it is equal to mean minus minimum divided by range. Press the enter and just double click here. So, this value implies hypsometric integral. The hypsometric integral has been accepted as an important morphometric indicator of the stages of basin development. So here, average hypsometric integral is equal to average you can drag it up to here, up to here J30 J2 is to J34. Close this bracket and press enter. So, average hypsometric integral 0.47. According to N. Stoller, hypsometric integral of above 0.6, that means 60%, is the youthful stage 0.6 to 0.35 equilibrium stage and less than 0.35 monodonic stage, or we call it old stage. See, all zones belongs to medium zone, that means equilibrium stage. Now, we have to plot our hypsometric curve. For this purpose, we have to calculate A, small a. Small a means area accumulation. We call it small a. So, area accumulation, here the area in square kilometer. So, is equal to this one, area. Now, is equal to area plus this value, press enter and just drag it up to here. So here total area 52.16. So we can call it capital A. So capital A is equal to capital A is equal to total area, total basin area. This one. Okay. Small a divided by capital A. So, is equal to small a area and accumulation divided by capital A. Capital A mean here total basin area. Press phone and A4 button. Then it will be fixed and press enter. And again drag it. Okay. We can format it number two decimal okay now you can find here zero zero value now we have to calculate relative height for this purpose we have to calculate first a's small a's again small a's mean so cumulative range so is equal to range range mean maximum minus minimum press enter then cumulative so this one plus next value Press enter. Now drag it up to here. So 6609. This is the A's value. We call it A's. Capital A's. Capital A's is equal to this value. 6609. So now we have to calculate A's divided by A's. So it called relative height. So is equal to this value divided by total height. Fix it by pressing phone and F4 and press enter. Now drag it up to here. Okay. So here our relative area of this elevation groove. Precious value. Now click it. And take this filter and rearrange it according to small to largest. So this one relative height again paste as value. Take a filter 
now highest to lowest now go to insert button here the scattered plot select this one right click select data select A's by A's go to edit now X value here area so we should select this one press now Y value it is A's by A's so click it OK and OK now select this point right click format data series go to fill and line you can add here marker also you can add here line so you can change the color you can choose more color from standard like this one okay here the marker go to this marker here the marker option click here none you can select again and smooth this line for this smooth line forward this cell number number two so this is our if symmetric curve we can now customize it go to this plus symbol chart element select it and axis title so this one y axis y axis mean here is divided by capital s that's when it is relative height relative height and it is for relative area relative basin area a divided by capital A. Now delete this one. Again select the chart, go to line, solid line, make it black, increase width one, again select it, select solid line, increase to one, select this x axis and select line with one again select y axis solid line one now in this font up to 12 change this color to automatic color so this is our hypsometric curve of this basin here you can find this basin these are equilibrium stress see this one in equilibrium stress because it is rectilinear in the lower part in this area you can find here concave shape and here rectilinear shape we can call it this basin belongs to equilibrium stress or mature stress so according to installer we can calculate also percentage of hypsometric curve for calculating percentage of hypsometric curve we should use only percentage is equal to value into 100 press enter just drag it up to this class again is equal to this value into 100 press enter drag it now take a copy now press here control V select this one select data this one a says go to edit button and change x axis as this one up here y axis relative height in percentage and click it ok now see this one same figure but this one hypsometric curve and this one percentage of hypsometric curve. I hope you are enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe my channel and support me. I will upload new new videos in my YouTube channel.